today, we'll be talking about racing terms. Today we've got slipstream coming up first. So, what is slipstream, first of all? Slipstream is the act of following a car closely and getting into the pocket of air here that the front car produces by the wind going over it. The car at the back could follow through easily and as it creates less resistance for the car at the back, gets pulled in and that's where you make the move and can put it down the inside of someone, hopefully. All right, clean air, dirty air. Let's draw some corners. When following a car, the air behind is disturbed because the front car cuts a hole in the air. The wind coming off the car. And what it leaves is this little pocket of no air, which makes it hard for the car behind to follow because less wind equals less downforce. And less downforce means less grip. And the less grip you have, the less closely you can follow. So that's the downside of dirty air. Drag and downforce. Drag and downforce is basically, it correlates with each other. Downforce is what we need as drivers to keep the car on the track. If the air will flow over the car and on top of the wing, and this air will push the back of the car down on the ground. The more downforce, the more drag. You don't want too much downforce that it drags you down the straight, but you don't want too less downforce to, in, to optimize the drag so that in the corners it will be too hard to control. Basically, apex is so whatever we saw inside here that is red, white, red, white, right? We call that uh, an apex. It's like a marker for us when we drive. So sometimes we hit early apex or we hit late apex. So when you drive in the track, you always have to look out for the apex. Okay, chicane is basically a corner with when you have like a right and a left right next to each other. It's a harder braking point, slows the car down more and bunches up everyone together. So a chicane basically is to slow us down so that we, for our own safety actually. Yeah, but in rally, a chicane is there because of the nature of the road. Balance is a piece of metal that is added to the car basically to slow the car down and also to even the playing field. Usually the balance will be added at every end of the race, usually the top five. The one who finishes first will always have the heaviest. So it, it makes a lot of good racing as well. Ever having the faster driving become slower because of that added balance. So yeah. The terms overstay and understay is used to co compare different kind of driving style between different drivers. So when you have understeer, for example, this is the corner. It's when you turn in the corner and your car starts going straight instead of turning into the corner. That's called understeer. So with the oversteer situation is you're approaching the turn and the rear end of the car actually wants to catch up to the front. So when the rear end catches up to the front, you end up spinning out. But oversteer is when you add opposite lock to counter the oversteer and the car basically still moves in a crab-like manner. Uh, it actually slows you down in terms of lap time for both understeer and oversteer. So the key is to actually maximize the traction which you have from your car and your tire to achieve maximum traction around the bend. 